I wanna share one of my favorite time-saving tips in Ableton Live that will help you find what you're looking for faster and stay in the creative flow. Okay, so I've got an Ableton Live set open here and I want to add a auto filter to my master bus. Why do you ask? Well, why not is what I say. So typically what we would do is we'd click on our track, we would go over to Live's browser, we would go to audio effects, we would go to auto filter, and we'd either click and drag or maybe we would double click to load that on our uh, master track. But um, there's nothing wrong with that, but I wanna stay in the flow. I wanna stay in the moment uh, while I'm working. So here's what I wanna suggest as one of my favorite time-saving tips. So I'm on my master track. I wanna add an auto filter. What I'm going to do, let's actually close our browser so you see this happen completely from scratch. I'm gonna click on my master track here. I'm gonna do Command F. Uh, if you're on a PC, that's gonna be Control F. And what that does is it takes me to the search bar in Ableton's Finder. Now let's search for auto filter. Now, uh, this is just in and of itself a, a super big time saving trick, right? Because I could then go up here and do auto filter and double click to load that onto my Ableton set. But let's take it a step further. Most people stop here. They don't realize they can completely navigate their uh, lives browser just using their computer keyboard, okay? So if we take it a step further, uh, let's delete this auto filter here. Uh, let's clear our search out. Let's go back to our master track. We're gonna search. Search for auto filter this time, okay? Now, if I could spell, that'd be a little faster. Now I'm gonna hit return on my keyboard. That's gonna take me down to the next section here. And if I have found what I'm looking for, in this case I did auto filter, I'm gonna press return again on my keyboard and that's gonna load auto filter to my track. Now let's try this again, but let's say we need to search a little further down. So let's search for a delay, okay? I'm gonna hit enter or return on my keyboard. Uh, in, in this case, I don't wanna use the align delay. That's the first thing that pops up here. I wanna actually navigate uh, a little further. So I, now I'm gonna use the down arrow to navigate down. And I wanna go to this preset here. So now I'm gonna hit return and that's gonna load that onto uh, my master track there. So again, that's one of my favorite time saving uh, tips is use command F to search lives presets, to search lives browser, to find it, hit return to actually get and navigate in that list and then use your arrow keys up and down uh, to find the exact preset. And then once you find it, then hit return to load it. Now that's not my only favorite time saving tip. My Probably number one biggest time saving tip for using Ableton Live is to subscribe to the From Studio to Sage YouTube channel. Why is it a time saving tip? Well, every single day I post a brand new tutorial, 10 a.m. Central, uh, that's something like this, a tip on how to use Ableton Live more efficiently, uh, a way to perform on stage with Ableton Live, and I don't want you to miss it. So hit subscribe, enable the bell icon. See you on the next one, bye.